Thank you. Hi, Mr. Lee. I'm the dietitian. How are you feeling today? Hi, I'm okay, but a little bit weak. Okay. And how's your appetite lately? I don't know what my dad should or should not eat. Well, during cancer treatment, particularly chemotherapy and radiation therapy, your immune system is often compromised, making it more susceptible to foodborne illnesses, especially for stem cell transplant patients who are undergoing pre-transplant chemotherapy, and even more when they are undergoing the transplant. Therefore, it is important for you to observe food safety practices, basically steps taken during the handling, preparing, and storage of food that reduces the risk of foodborne illnesses. So, I have to go on the special diet? Yes, you do. This is called a neutropenic diet, also known as a low microbial diet. It provides protection from bacteria and other harmful organisms found in certain food and drinks. By avoiding certain food, where the preparation and storage methods are susceptible to contamination and bacterial growth, you can prevent the risk of contamination. So what does he have to avoid? In general, you are allowed to eat food that are freshly prepared, well cooked and served at the right temperature, and ready to eat food that are sold in a sealed packaging. Can you elaborate please? Of course, you may include different food groups in your diet, but do take note of preparation methods, especially protein foods, such as meat, fish, poultry, seafood, and egg. So when you say meat, what meat does he need to avoid? You do not need to avoid meat. You just need to consume fully cooked protein foods. This means that your meat, poultry, fish, seafood, and even egg and tofu need to be fully cooked. Oh, does that mean no sushi or sashimi? No sushi or sashimi for now. You will also have to avoid cold cuts and food from the delicatessen. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Just eat fully cooked food and no raw meat. That's right. Is this the same for vegetables? No raw vegetables? All must be fully cooked? Yes, all vegetables have to be washed thoroughly and cooked. No pre-cut vegetables and fruits, meaning no salads. Only eat fruits with thick skin, for example, bananas and oranges. If you see mold on the fruit, do not eat them even after the mold has been cut away. You may eat dried fruit in sealed packets. How about fruits and vegetable juices? Well, freshly prepared juices so that food courts or shops may pose a risk to food safety. Contamination may be introduced from unclean equipment and utensils used. Storage of fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as quality of fresh ingredients used. Pasteurization is a food preparation process often used to kill bacteria in food. Therefore, it is best to only drink pasteurized juices in an individual serving packet. Okay, just avoid raw protein foods and raw vegetables. All vegetables must be cooked. Pasteurized juices must be in individual packets. Same goes for fruits and drinks. That seems easy enough. Hold on, there is something else that you need to take note too. Oh, what else? It is also important to take note of dairy products. You must avoid unpasteurized dairy products, as well as cheeses with molds such as blue vein, and also soft cheeses such as brie, camembert, ricotta, and cottage. And also, not forgetting any cakes with fresh cream or custard fillings. Oh, dairy products. So, no yogurt and ice cream? You can have ice cream, as long as they are individually packed, meaning no soft serve ice cream. However, you do have to avoid yogurt and yogurt drinks as they contain live cultures. In addition, you also have to watch the temperature of the food you eat. Temperature? Yes, temperature. Bacteria can form and grow rapidly at temperatures between 10 to 60 degrees Celsius. Your hot food should be kept at above 60 degrees and should be cooked at at least 72 to 82 degrees. It is also important to store your food below 4 degrees in the refrigerator or at minus 18 degrees for your frozen food. This is to prevent bacterial growth. So how do I check the food I eat is hot enough? Well, it is best that you ensure that the food is freshly cooked when you place an order and has not been lying around for long periods of time before consumption because bacteria can multiply. Oh, okay. You may just feel more comfortable cooking at home. Ah. Is that all? Yes, 
we have covered enough of the basics of the neutral pinate diet guidelines to get you started. Do take note of the food you are to avoid. Oh right, no raw meats, fish, poultry and eggs. Avoid unpasteurized dairy products. All vegetables must be fully cooked. Only eat fruits with the thick skin. No juice unless it's pasteurized and individually packaged. Don't forget, no soft serve ice cream or yogurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Alright, Mr. Lee, I think you're all set to go. 